You have to lose weight or there will be no wedding. But this dress is two sizes smaller than me. I don't care. One day, due to eye problems, I went to the ophthalmologist. It turned out to be a very handsome young doctor who prescribed glasses for me. When I came to pick them up, he put me in a chair and asked me to read a plate with an inscription. Will you go on a date with me? Our relationship developed with lightning speed and magic walks, restaurants, and then a marriage proposal. But after we got engaged and I moved in, Carl changed. One day, all my clothes became too small for me. It turned out that Carl threw all my clothes away and bought the same ones, but two sizes smaller instead. The strange behavior of my loved one alerted me, but... Baby, we are starting a new life together, and you have to be the best version of yourself for it. I went on a diet and started exercising for him. But at home I was disturbed by a strange sound. Some rustling coming from the attic. Squirrels again. Over time I lost weight. And he came up with a new task for me. <gasps> you need to change your style. Go to the hairdresser. I've already made an appointment. Carl tried to do everything for me. And I thought that I had to comply, because he was a treasure. So I agreed with him on everything. Leaving for a haircut, I noticed those noisy squirrels on the roof again. I opened my eyes after changing the style and totally understood Carl. I loved the new me. Joyful, I was returning home from the salon when a police car pulled over next to me. Miss, can I see your ID? I was surprised, but gave it to the officer. Sorry, miss. You look a lot like a girl who went missing here a year ago. The policeman apologized for the inconvenience and gave me a ride home. But this coincidence alarmed me. When I got home, I opened my laptop. The photo of the missing girl horrified me. Because after my transformation, I became her twin. <gasps> At that moment, I heard the stupid squirrels again. But I noticed the peculiarity of their knock. It's the SOS signal! The attic key was in Carl's desk drawer, and I used it to open the attic door. A girl tied up with her mouth sealed was lying in the darkness. She was the missing Catherine. I started to untie her, but the door closed behind me. You disappointed me, dear. With trembling lips, Catherine told me that the day she decided to break up with Carl, instead of letting her go, he locked her in the attic. It turned out that he just wanted to replace her with me. I started giving in to the hopelessness of the situation, thinking that I'd spend the rest of my days in the attic. But soon I heard a noise. There was some kind of fight downstairs, as a result of which someone came up to the attic and opened the door. The silhouette of a man made Catherine and I recoil. <gasps> but luckily, it was just the silhouette of the cop. Seeing the extraordinary resemblance between Catherine and me, he watched the house. And thanks to him, Carl was in handcuffs. Catherine and I were set free. Sooner or later, the truth will come out.